hello guys in this video we will create namespace then we will create a queue in namespace we will send message to the queue and then we will receive message from the queue so let's switch over to azure portal so i am in azure portal let's click on service bus i will say create namespace let's select resource group let's give some name so we'll say first service bus demo then location will keep it as it is and then pricing tier so uh, as of now we will select basic basic pricing tier so we have three options that is premium standard and basic premium will use it mostly for production standard for dev and qa and for our local dev local development we can use either basic or standard depending on our need okay but as of now we will select basic let's say review and create and create so we have namespace created so let's click on go to resource now uh, you can see there are a lot of things on this screen and we will discuss this in upcoming videos so as of now we have just created a namespace we have not created any queue or topic so first let's click on this queue so before that if you see this topic uh, that option is disabled it's because we have selected the pricing tier as basic and ba in basic only queues are supported for topic or subscription the minimum pricing tier required is standard okay so let's click on this queue let's give some name to our queue so i'll say our first queue and guys rest of the things we will keep it as default so what is this delivery count max delivery count queue size message time to leave log duration enable date lettering on message expiration and enable partitioning so all these things we will see it in separate videos so as of now let's ignore that let's keep those as default and let's say create and you see our queue is created now if i scroll down and if you follow my mouse here we can see the queue which we just created so i will click and open that now to send messages to this queue and read messages from this queue let's click on service bus explorer now to send our first message to this queue let's click on this that is send messages and let's give some message so we'll say hello service bus queue and let's click on send now if you see this we have successfully sent our first message to this queue and now let's try to read the message so now i will click on this that is pick from start so let's click on that and let's click on this check box and you see we can see the message which we have just sent okay so that was about sending a message and receiving the message and guys there are a few more things as well to discuss like this pick from start then this receive mode and all that so we will discuss each and every this thing in our upcoming videos okay so thanks thanks for listening